Good evening, Northside. Uh, today's uh, midweek devotion is based on the sermon that uh, was preached by Pastor Vere on Sunday, the 18th of December. The passage from which he read was Matthew 2, from verses 1 to 12. I'll read it uh, through so that we are on the same page. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi the, from the east came to Jerusalem. Magi here is the three wise men. And they asked, where is, the, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and the teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied, For this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the, uh, the wise men secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had had the king, they went on their way and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Now, on Sunday, Pastor Very identified three groups of people. And the three groups of people were the wise men from the east, uh, the religious people, and King Herod himself. But I will um, narrow it down to just two people. Um, <clears throat> because the religious people and Herod are one group, and then the wise men are the other group. When you look at these two groups of people, they had something in common. One, they all had the scriptures which they were reading, and from the scriptures, they knew where Jesus was going to be born. And the two were actually waiting for a time when they could see the Messiah. So the two groups had those two things in common. But one group actually had access to God. They read the scriptures, they had faith in God, and when the signs of the coming king came, they were able to identify that sign. And that sign was the star. The wise men um, were eagerly waiting for that sign for the king of the whole world. And when they saw the star, and I believe they also uh, had a voice from God. 
because we get the sense that they did uh, hear from God from the last uh, verse that we read, that in a dream they were warned not to return to King Herod. So at the beginning when they saw the star, they also had the message that this is the star that, that says the king is born in Bethlehem. Follow this star and I will lead you to where the king is. Let, let, us, let us look at it in another way. The star is a guide. And what is the star in our today's life? The star is the word of God. And the word of God is going to guide us to God. And so throughout the journey, they were guided by the star. And when they reached Jerusalem, they decided to ask King Herod. That was a wrong move. They had, in fact, they did not listen to the star. I think they, were, they, they, they thought, since this is a king and born in the family of kings, the king, Herod, should know about this. Surely, he must know uh, that there is going to be a king and he is going to be born in Bethlehem. And Bethlehem was only uh, another 10 miles away from Jerusalem. They lost their focus. After speaking to, uh, to, to, to Herod and Herod having given them... Uh, no clue as to where this king was. I mean, King Herod himself, um, although he had the scriptures, he never read the scriptures. He had to consult his religious people, the Pharisees, to get to know where the Messiah was to be born. And of course, he was then told by the religious people where the Messiah was going to be born. And after they were released by Herod, the star reappeared. Now, this is, what, this is a significant shift. As soon as they left dependence on people and focused more on God, the star reappeared. The star had always been the guide for them. And when they had turned to, to, to humans to seek guidance, it was a wrong move. Let always, always the word of God be your guide, just like the star was to the wise man. Now, this, this reminds me of what God said to Joshua. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to what is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous and shall have good success. You will notice that as soon as they left the king, the star reappeared and they got to where Jesus was. When they got there, they worshipped Jesus and they gave him the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
You will also notice that God guided them in a dream to go back to their country by another route. Now, this is the first group, the group of the wise men from the East who knew the scriptures, who followed God, who followed the star. And for as long as they followed the star, they could meet Jesus. The other group in this passage are the religious people and their king, Herod. Now, this group was also waiting for the king, apparently. And King Herod was a bit different. He wasn't waiting for the king through ignorance. He had access to the scriptures, but he actually never read the scriptures. And we do have many people in this world who have access to the scriptures, to the Bible, to church, but they never bother looking at the Bible or even going to church. And they will never meet God. Because if you do not confess that Jesus is Lord of your life, the light will never enter your life. So when he heard that there was a new king, he panicked. Because of course he was king and he did not want any competition. So he quickly went to his own wise men who immediately told him, yes, there will be a new king. And that new king is our king, king of the Jews. But unfortunately, they also had been mistaken. It was not just the king of the Jews, it was the king of the world. This is why the, 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 the king of the world appeared to the three wise men from the east. The, the, the religious people had studied the scriptures and had known in detail where Christ was going to be born. But unfortunately, they only had had knowledge of Jesus and nothing more. It was, it was a surprise when the three wise men told them that they had seen a star and this star signified where the king has been born. None of them said, can we accompany you? to go and see the king? Why? Because the although they had access to the scriptures, although they had, they had knowledge of, of, of the scriptures, the light never entered into their lives. They had never had faith in God as their savior. But on the other hand, the wise men from the East had the voice of, of God. This reminds me of the ten, um, the ten virgins in Matthew 25. And in Matthew 25, it says, At that time, the kingdom of God will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lambs but did not take any oil with them. And the wise ones, however, took oil in, the, in their jars along with their lambs. And when the bridegroom took his time the bridegroom was a long time coming and they all became 
drowsy and went asleep. But at midnight, the cry rang out. Here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their, their, their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise ones, Give us some of your oil, because our lambs are going out. No, they replied, they may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell, and they buy some for yourselves. If you are not ready to meet the king, you will miss out. If the light is not in you, when the Lord comes again, you will miss out. Just be careful. Keep your lamp burning. Confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you will be saved, and the light will come into your life. Just like the, 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 the wise men, the, the star was their guide through and through. Just like the, ten, the five wise virgins, their lamps had oil and enough light for them to meet the bridegroom. Do you have the light? Is your lamp shining? Is the star your guide? Think about these things. Have a good night. And I will see you on Sunday when we meet again to worship God.